The whiteboard, the markers, the instructors. This is no classroom, but there's a lot that can be learned here at the DeKalb County Foreclosure Auction. $146,000. Last and final call for $190,000. But they have to tender funds in full once they purchase. So they'll have the money on it. Although on the front steps of the courthouse, the bidding process is not run by government or any state official. It's a private company called Auction.com. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Staff here have no role in investigating whether a home should or should not be on the foreclosure auction. It works like this. If a homeowner repeatedly doesn't pay their mortgage loan, the loan will default. The debt will rise. And if the homeowner and bank don't agree on a repayment plan, the bank informs the foreclosure agency to put the property up for auction. Yes. Ten homes were on the list this time, but in the months before, these homeowners say they had their properties on the whiteboard too. Here are their allegations. I lived in my home for 10 years and it was wrongfully taken from me. My home was stolen from me. Identity theft. I have asked for due process in DeKalb County, Georgia Superior Court. My house that has been paid for since 1979 was stolen from me. In my home of nearly 10 years was stolen from me by fraudulent foreclosure practices. They all tell us their cases are similar to Eric Clark's. We first introduced you to the father last fall. He got a letter on his door that his home had been sold out from under him at a foreclosure auction. He claimed in a police report that someone took out a fraudulent second loan on his home, forging his signature. The father never paid the loan because he says he didn't know about it. What's more, he accuses fraudsters of also filing fake deeds on his property. An issue county clerks say is common because under current Georgia law, to file paperwork in the clerk's office, you don't need proof of identification. It's harder to cash a $5 check at a bank than it is to record a deed that could steal the title to someone's home that they've worked for decades to build up equity in. Attorney Rick Allenbeck fights cases of deep theft, wrongful foreclosures, fraudulent loans, the main ingredients in the recipe for real estate fraud. What makes it easy for them to be able to do the fraudulent loan? I mean, I, if I really wanted to, I could I could get your social security number and all your private information, you know, have people who can get that. I mean, I wouldn't do it because like... It, it's illegal. It's illegal. <laughs> The 30-year veteran of law argues property fraud leading to wrongful foreclosures is rampant in Georgia because it's a non-judicial state. The courts only get involved after a lawsuit is filed. He believes the court should oversee the entire process from the beginning. For instance, if any bank or debtor wants to foreclose, they must go to court to prove why. Where well, there's some judicial supervision, it it's inherently more fair. $145,000. While real estate lobbyists seek efficiency in property sales, attorneys like Alan Beck says slowing down the process with more safeguards and verification steps from the deed filing to loans could stop stolen homes. People have a lot, a lot of stuff getting thrown at them every day. Um, how to get to work, how to you know, get my kids fed or get them lunch. You know, there, there's so much coming at people these days, but if it happens to you, then it, it's, it's a life altering event.